so here we are. I am sitting on the balcony just chilling out while everyone else went shopping. And uh, I, I've had to work at this on this vacation, so I'm trying to adjust, trying to figure what to do, what would be good, etc., etc. I will say, surprisingly, the internet connection is probably one of the best I've been to and experienced in a while because in the past it's been shit. So that's why I'm really happy that my video classes have been able to work out, which I never thought would have happened. So I'm sipping on coffee, drinking some hockey that I brought with me. Of course, look at this stuff. I don't want to see my coupons and shit. And of course, I got color. So it's mild here, not too humid, but pretty rainy at times, which I guess is going to be part of the board. So I don't know what kind of ventures we're going to have here, but it is nice. Now, I will give you a couple tips while I think about it. Uh, number one, ladies, you don't have to dress up when you travel, okay? Just dressing up in something casual and, you know, like the baseball caps you see me in or just something that will not only keep you warm and seasonal as you're going through the seasons and stuff, but something that, you know, it's where you can even sleep in if you need to and nap in, and it's good for overnight. You don't need to dress up in the makeup and shit. You don't need to, you know, she she papa, unless you don't like a special show or something, which we're going to be doing that this week. Um, so that's enough. That's, that's definitely something to keep in mind. And plus, I know you're dressing for yourself, but you don't have to. You're, you're on the road, so... Just make yourself look presentable. Don't look like you're you're a whore. Don't look like you walked out of someone's bedroom from a cheap ass flea bag motel. Just be presentable and classy, but you don't have to overdo it with the makeup. Just saying. Um, a couple other things too. Like when I travel, I drink iced tea more than coffee because let's just say if you're on the road and in traffic and that gurgle gurgle hits after drinking coffee, yeah, you may want to be more still. And that's what I do. So I drink iced tea. So, so when I drink iced tea, it still kind of keeps me going. I'm still chilled out and relaxed. And it just works out so much better. So that's another tip. Um, if you are working remotely like I do, um, one thing you need to keep in mind definitely is the echoes. Because my students were complaining about it. So, you know, make sure you're in a place where it's not so echoey, echoey, echoey. Otherwise, you're going to sleep if you feel like you're in space or something. So... Keep that in mind as well. I'm going to probably work with that maybe tomorrow or Friday to see how it goes. Um, also, I'm going to check the connections too, so there's another there's another reason for that, but we shall see. Um, I think other than that, um, oh, another thing. Bring your own snacks and bring some of your own food because shit can be crazy here. Just saying. It can get pretty nasty, pretty pricey, pretty quickly. So, if you know of a local place that's not too expensive to buy food, do it. Buy groceries. They do have an independent store here, but it's pricey as hell. So, go to, like, a Kroger's. That works. Or, like I did, I cut up some apples and I brought some of those. It's perfect for when I, when I started working today. It's a perfect on-the-go snack. And I'll tell you what, even though they may not look good, they still taste pretty damn crunchy. So, definitely go for that. And, um, hmm. I don't know what other travel tips... Oh! When you're making a room reservation, make sure that you're near the elevators. Because not only are you guaranteed to get a better room and a good room, but the rooms at the ends aren't used as much. Now, if you don't care about that, that's okay. But just be prepared for a little loop. Um, there are some people, like my mom, who's very sensitive to that kind of thing and expects perfection. But that's, you know... you can't. Ex that's the idea of being out and traveling. You know, you can't expect all this stuff to be up. So, anyway, I thought I'd give you guys an update. Um, we're officially down here, day one. We're just kind of chilling, relaxing, getting our bearings right now, if you will. And, um, you know, go out, do stuff, have fun. So, see you guys later. See what happens. Something that I like doing is I like taking pictures of flowers. And if you've been following me on Instagram, you'll see some of them. And these are some gorgeous flowers. What I love with my new phone now is I can do, like, extreme close-ups. Or with this thing, I really can't. But this gives you a beautiful idea. Got some interesting nature formations. My artistic side is really coming out with this, so... I'm looking forward to seeing what I got. And I'm telling you, this is awesome. This is where we used to stay at. 
And now, we're right over there. Check out the moss on this tree. That is fantastic. But just those roots alone? That is like completely gorgeous. Wow. Wow, this is cool stuff. Artistic photography. That's what I love about this. Look at that. That's cool. And yeah, one lovely little duck. Feeding. Feeding on the side here. Look at that. Ooh. Boy, that pretty skyline. That's really pretty. Wow. There's a little fountain there. Here's a little guy. Hey, buddy. How are you? Hi. Check it out, guys. You can hardly see it, but right above here, I just ran into a glimpse of a rainbow. You can hardly see it. Whoa, that was cool. I just thought, yep. Yeah. Very faint now. Yeah, I just saw a little